Well, I'm going to look at a refrigerant today. This refrigerant is going to be R12. And remember I had that 40 degree evaporating temperature for air conditioning? Well, if I look at R12, 40 degrees is 37 pounds. Okay? Now I had 120 degree condensing temperature. And I look down the chart and I find me 120 degrees. Uh, we'll call it 160. Okay. So the pressure is 160 down to 37. So with R12, I'm going to have to raise the pressure 123 pounds between in order to get it to condense at that uh, 120 number. Now, that's not quite our 10 pounds, is it? But its pressures are reasonable, aren't they? Um, 160 pounds to 37 pounds. That's fairly reasonable for air conditioning. It would be even reasonable for uh, coolers and, and some freezers. What about oil? It has no real lubricating qualities. It is a solvent, as many of the uh, CFC refrigerants, by the way, that is dichloral, difluoral, methane. There you go. Okay. The CFCs, a lot of the CFCs were solvents. They mix with oil, at least they mix with mineral oil. But the viscosity goes down and the lubricating qualities are somewhat less. But it does mix with oil. So it may be okay on the oil side. How about BTUs per pound? The latent heat. We talked about that. I wanted a thousand. This has got 70. Well, that's not a whole lot. I did a little checking and I found out with our 12 happy stuff here uh, if I change it from a liquid to a gas it occupies 284 cubic foot compared to one cubic foot of liquid so my three to one thing isn't going to work out too well with this refrigerant uh, and we'll compare it as I do different ones to other refrigerants and see what the difference is between R12 and say 22, 410A and uh, a number of other refrigerants. R12 is not flammable. That's one good thing. That's one of the main reasons those CFCs were developed at all was because they were not flammable. They do, however, in the presence of heat, break down into uh, phosgene gas, which is, was used as a poison gas during World War I. So a little bit of negative there. Uh, it is not toxic. It won't poison you. Now, is it cheap? Well, R12 was cheap. In fact, R12 was so cheap, it was used for everything. It was a propellant in spray cans. They expanded urethane foam with it. Uh, there were just a myriad of uses for R12. The refrigeration was actually a small part of the amount of R12 that was produced and uh, released into the atmosphere. So, it was dirt cheap. Now, because it's a CFC, it is no longer considered to be environmentally uh, sensible. It has an ozone depletion uh, rate that's very high, and we do not use it anymore. In fact, the government has put taxes on it, and we can't produce it anymore in, uh, in this country because of its environmental concerns. So it's not in the running anymore. 
Was it a good refrigerant? It was one of the best that we have. It, uh, of course, not being expensive, uh, its pressures were reasonable. All these things were about as reasonable as anything got uh, until you started looking at the environmental effects. So R12, like this stuff here, which is an old, old can from 30 years ago. Uh, this is about all I got left of this stuff. It's no longer used. There are replacement refrigerants that are uh, taking its place. So that's it on our 12.